This is Pat Soundbites Unplugged. Unplugged. The podcast where all the artists go to tell it as it is. Careers, music, tours, and more. And here's your host, the man that refuses to eat squid, Pat Calamari. Hey, welcome to another edition of Pat Soundbites Unplugged Podcast. I'm your host, Pat Calamari. What a surprise. Thanks for coming for the ride. As always, couldn't do it without you. Episode number 215. Well, it's a good one. It's a short one, like 10 minutes. It was really a phoner on October 6th, Friday. I'm talking with this guy, incredible guitar player. Um, You know him from the band Yes, or maybe A-R-W, Trevor Rabin. And Trevor put out, well, his first vocal-led solo album since 1989 from his uh, last one was called Can't Look Away. This record is called Rio, named after his granddaughter, which I think is kind of cute. And it's great talking to him. I mean, 10 minutes. I could talk to the man for an easily for an hour. Um, Like, where have you been? We missed you in the music scene. But he's been a pretty busy cat these days. Well, for quite a while, I should say. He's been really a force in the film, movie, uh, soundtrack business. And I got to tell you, if you talk to enough musicians, rock stars that I have talked to, that's where the money is these days. He has been involved with at least 50 plus great movie soundtracks um con air armageddon jack frost gone in 60 seconds remember the titans um kangaroo jack coach carter snakes on a plane the guardian i mean the list goes on and on and on Race to Witch Mountains, G-Force. I mean, we could spend all day just talking about that. But that's really where the money is, so you can't blame him. But as you will hear, as he says in his words, he really missed uh, playing some rock and roll music, and it was just a matter of time finding the time to get in a studio and getting back into things. So he did that, and he's got 10 great tracks. I mean... Gorgeous melodies, um, great guitar work. I mean, he's an incredible musician. He's a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer. I was talking to him from the Rock Hall in Cleveland, again on Friday, October the 6th. He's uh, released by Inside Out Record Labels, 10 songs. They released three, Big Mistakes, Push, and Oklahoma. We talk about the songs, we talk about the artwork, we talk about his vocals, and maybe a tour. And I'm sure a lot more than that, but all squeezed in in 10 minutes. Crazy. But you know what? 10 minutes with Trevor Rabin is better than no minutes at all. That's the way I look at it. So go check it out. Go to his YouTube. Check out. Go. You can certainly download right now purchase the album the record rio and uh support this guy as we have always done great to hear his voice and uh, hopefully have another chat with him with uh, a little bit more time okay enough of me as always live love and laugh a lot because life is way too short enjoy and don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button on my youtube channel and instagram and facebook thanks Hey, welcome to Pat Soundbites Unplugged Podcast. Keeping new music alive is what I do. And man, do I am in luck today on Friday, October 6th. I got Rock and Roll Hall of Famer. He's an amazing singer, songwriter, film composer, and my goodness, what a guitar player and over round musician. Mr. Trevor Rabin on our rock and roll phone. How are you, sir? I'm great, Pat. How are you doing? Oh, not too bad for a Friday. Trevor releasing Rio from Inside Out label. First album, well, I should say first solo album with vocals in 34 years since Can't Look Back. But I know you did uh, Jacaranda in 2012 in Instrumental. But, man, great to hear your voice. Great to see you back in the uh, 
well, I should say the rock and roll kind of music scene. Uh, so many questions to ask with nine minutes to go or so, but let me just start off by saying, um, what, uh, why now, and uh, how you been, and uh, were these songs uh, due to COVID? You know, it's, it's an amazing thing because it is 30 odd years, and uh, you know, after I left, uh, yes, I started doing film scores, and uh, because I wanted to work with the orchestra uh, passionately, and so I've been doing that, and I haven't stopped doing that, and literally haven't stopped. Um, you know, other than taking some time to do Jacaranda and Little Odds and Ends, but um, I look back at these for 30 years and I think, it doesn't feel that long. You know, Armageddon, which was one of my very early films, was, was you know, 30 odd years ago, and I think, it doesn't feel that it was that long ago. And here I am 50 movies later, and i am now finally done this album, and uh, it was really cool because you know, usually you spend time doing your first album. Your whole life is spent doing your first album. And if you're lucky enough for it to do well, then you need another album pretty soon afterwards. And there's a lot of pressure on that. But the great thing with this is I've had 30 years of hard work, but, you know, as well as a little bit of procrastination because I never really got to do it. But my wife used to say to me, you're like an alcoholic, except instead of bottles in the drawers, there's scraps of paper with manuscript written, <laughs> and uh, with, you know, with a million ideas, and finally those ideas and those scraps of paper on this record. Well, outstanding. The, the record is very diverse. I hear so much. I hear a little prod rock. I hear blues. I hear pop. I hear even a little country. And uh, I like diversity. I like things different, not that you're stuck in like one genre. So you tell the wife, put all these movie directors on hold. I'll get them back later. I got to get in the studio and do some rock and roll. And uh, we got the uh, big mistakes out. We got Push. We got Oklahoma. I think Push is my favorite track so far, Trevor. But I mean, that could change tomorrow. Um, we, uh, we talked about kind of the songs. Um, going into the record, did you were you looking for diversity and trying to have fun and not being tied down to like one genre of prog rock? Yes, I definitely didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to try and contrive anything. I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to do what I really love. And I'm not going to worry about genres. I remember the beginning of the album as one of the joke uh, titles. It was called a, a Demographic Nightmare. I, I, I saw that somewhere I'd written. But it's not supposed to be that. But I do go into, as you say, country, prog rock. I, I go all over the place. and. Um, you know, putting my producer cap on, I, I, I listened to it very carefully and thought, you know, the voice is what it is and the guitar playing is whatever the style is, is what it is. And hopefully those, essentially those two elements, plus my general style, will just kind of glue it all together and make it a, co a cohesive entity. Well, you, you do a great job, big hooks, amazing guitar work, uh, sensational singing. I mean, I saw you at ARW and you were on fire and that was back in October. I was looking at my ticket stub, October of 2016 and your vocals sound better than ever, I got to say. Um, doing all the soundtracks, Trevor, has how has this um, made you a, a better musician, all around better musician? I mean, you, you're done from college. On air, Armageddon, Enemy of the States, and Gone in 60 Seconds. I'm sure it, it keeps your skill sets um, really well, but how has it really made you maybe a better musician all around? I think generally just by working with a full orchestra and having to really concentrate on uh, not just two or three instruments, but using the entire palette of the orchestra to paint the picture musical picture for, the, for, the, for what's going on on the screen. Um, I, it, it, it has to have um, impacted me as a musician. But uh, I think one of the things uh, that, that happened, which was fortuitous to me, is I hadn't sung for so long. And then when I went on the road with uh, John and Rick, uh, it was just very fortunate that I spent 
200 odd shows, you know, getting the old voice muscle going again because I was really ready to do this album because I'd, I'd had uh, 200 shows to prepare myself. I love the idea of Rio, named after your granddaughter, and I love the artwork. Was, was that you, or did you hire someone to do the artwork of the cover? Um, no, it's, it's kind of weird. You know, my mother was an artist, and, and pianist, actually, but um, I always used to love watching her paint and learn so much from her. And I do it as a hobby. It's certainly nothing I do outside being a hobby. But I used to do oils and acrylics, and then digital art came about, and I thought, wow, this is a lot less messy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I started doing these things. Some of it was, um, you know, abstract. Some of it was impressionistic and, and you know, portraits. And I, I remember when Kobe died, I did a, a portrait of him. Um, and so just various things. And I just purely, you know, as a, a hobby, and uh, Thomas asked to see some of it. Uh, Thomas from the record company. I said, "No, sure, I'll send you some stuff." And he called me back and said, "I love this stuff. It's going to be perfect for the album." And I said, "Well, that's fine with me, but just know that if after in, if, if, if you don't feel the same way in a week, you, I have no problem with you firing the artist." <laughs> I love that. You know, I was looking back, preparing for today, looking back at some of your uh, solo albums, Beginning and Wolf. I mean, you had some incredible artists on some of your albums. I mean, Man for Man, the late great Alan White, Simon Phillips. But this album, you pretty much played all the instruments, and I even see your son Ryan handling the arrangements. Was that something that you wanted to do, or just uh, you didn't want to waste time making a few phone calls and just getting this out? Well, you know, it's kind of a habit of mine. I've always done this uh, to, to a large degree, but um, with this album, um, Lou Molino is such a phenomenal drummer, and I've worked with him so much before, and, you know, he did the ARW turn. I mean, he could have done it in his sleep. He's, he's just really special drummer. And then on Push, the song Push, Vinnie Kaliyuda plays, and uh, it's amazing. I sent him the track, uh, with just uh, demo, demo uh, drums for him to get into it and listen to it. And he sent it back to me because it was during COVID. Cause, um, I've done work with Vinny at my studio, but during COVID we couldn't. So he sent me the file and he said, look, I'm sending you two or three different tapes. Uh, just tell me which one you like. And uh, if you want, if you don't like any of them, we can do it again. And, I called him, I said, Vinny, I got a problem. I love every, every <laughs> single track is 100%, and now I've got to go back and re-explode myself, because you've exploded the track. And I went in and redid a whole load of stuff. He really just brought something to the track. Yeah, Vinny's an amazing, uh, amazing artist, and glad that you were able to get him on on the record. Before I let you go, I know my time is running, running out. I got to ask you: Do you miss performing live? And will we see you on the road promoting this great album? I mean, to be honest, the first the, the reason I, I I do music for two reasons: one to write, and the other to play guitar on stage. So I hope that doesn't stop and. You know, the album's just finished, so we're just starting to look at all the other aspects of what we need to do. I hear you. Well, like I said, it was great to see you, well, seven years ago at ARW, and we hope to see you maybe in 2024 or 2025 if you get those uh, film directors still on hold. Um, Trevor, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the conversation as much as I have, and I hope we can do it again a little bit longer. Well, Pat, I certainly did, and it was great talking to you, and let's do it again. Excellent. Let's do it again. Go out and buy the album, Trevor Rabin. It's called Rio. It's out today on Inside Out Label. Catch it while you can. Thank you, Trevor. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Bye now. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.